Hello and welcome to StartupChampions2.0, the show where you meet and learn from National Startup Award winning founders. In today's episode, you will meet two startup champions from the health and wellness industry. They are Lucine Rich Bio and Atria Innovation. Imagine a world where we transform sick care to health care. Remember COVID? Everyone suddenly got more concerned about their immunity. But how do you track immunity? Our startup champion is creating a world where we focus on prevention than curing a disease. A world where we have more health and less disease. All of this is possible when we understand the microbiome of the human body. Whether the gut, oral, skin, vaginal or even the external ecosystem affecting the body. Scientific study says if you take care of your gut, you create a healthier body. Imagine if you were to get prebiotic, probiotic and food recommendations based on your gut microbiome. And a lot, lot more. Let's now see the Lucene Rich Bio story. The microbiome is all the microbes that are living in or on our body. And we have more microbes in our gut than all human cells put together. If you're craving for ice cream right now, it's probably a bacteria in your gut signaling to your brain saying that, please feed me ice cream. So this is relatively new science, um, but we had very early exposure to this science, I mean, through our, uh, our work interest as well as you know, being in, staying in touch with, uh, with the scientific community. And we thought, you know, this was a great way to, uh, to tackle diseases, especially the kind of lifestyle diseases that we see right now. We're the only company in India offering a, a gut microbiome. Program. We've started off with Make in India, Make, make for India. Uh, so both our uh, uh, test prof uh, profiling package, as well as the probiotics that we have now launched is is a product that is made for India. It's, it's based on Indian population data. The, uh, I mean, from day one, our vision has been to change the paradigm shift in healthcare. You know, move it from sick care to healthcare. Can we help individuals stay healthy uh, instead of you know curing them after they uh, fall fall ill? Um, and you know, that is what we want to take uh, to consumers uh, across India and around the world. So Kumar and Devi Jyoti, welcome to Startup Champions Studio. Thank you. Thank you. You are South Asia's first microbiome company, right? This is amazing and congratulations to the both of you. Thank you. But tell me the most important thing now. These products that are kept right here on my desk, what are they and how do they actually create value for the consumers? So I'll hand it over to you, to the both of you. Please uh, explain to our viewers what exactly are these. Sure. Thank you, Pratikar. So this is uh, uh, Bucks Peaks. Okay. It's a gut microbiome profiling test kit. Um, so what we do is um, using the fecal sample uh, of an individual, we collect that. Okay. And through that, we measure what are the bacteria, fungus, virus residing in the gut. And, and through that, we are able to tell the uh, consumer whether uh, he or she is suffering from a certain disease, uh, how to correct it just by nutrition or taking some probiotic supplements and, and get a better, better healthy lifestyle. It's that simple? <laughs> we have made it that simple. Wow, that's incredible. So, um, you know, let's say a customer sort of sends you their sample across. Um, you know, do they send it to your lab and then you then you uh, do all the tests over it? Yes, so what we do is we take care of the end-to-end -end solution. So we ship the uh, kit to a, a, the customer's house. Once the sample is collected, we get it shipped back to our lab. Wow. And then we do all the processing over there. Wow. And then, of course, the report is sent back to the customer, uh, telling them not just about uh, potential diseases, but actually the prebiotics or the probiotics and all the all the various foods, the supplements, and nutritions that they should take. Yes. So uh, currently, we're reporting at about about 180 food items, and we're telling them whether to avoid it, eat it more. Uh, and basically what the bacteria wants in the gut. Very interesting. So on that note, uh, tell me something. What exactly is a microbiome? So the, the microbiome is, uh, you know, it constitutes of all the microorganisms that are living in or on our body. Okay. And in the gut, 90% of all the microbes that are there are present in our gut. Um, and, you, and if you look at it, I mean, we have more microbial cells in our body than human cells. So imagine. 
It, it can dictate a lot of our health and wellness. I'm sure. So you have consumable products like supplements. Also, you have uh, MetaRich, which is a data platform for researchers and industry personnel. Uh, please expand on both the areas of the company. So let me take it forward from there. Uh, so this is the second product that we have. This is called Rich Biome Indus. Now this is uh, based on the Indian gut microbiota data. Okay. So uh, whenever you go out uh, to the shop to buy a probiotic, you mostly buy a probiotic which was you know developed in the U.S. and you know for Largely. their yeah for sure. their kind of uh, you know gut. Sure. But we didn't have an Indian gut specific uh, you know product. Okay. So since we were doing a lot of gut microbiome tests, we had a lot of Indian data, and then we figured out that there are a lot of probiotics that are missing in the Indian gut. So we, we thought, why don't we make a product for Indians, for their gut? And how different fundamentally is it, the Indian gut and let's say the American gut? So w w we do see a lot of differences, wow. um, you know, with respect to the Indian gut uh, as opposed to uh, the American any other, gut. Any, any other geography. I mean, it's, it's mostly got to do with our environment, the food that we eat. Um, our early childhood exposure to the environment, all of that makes a, makes a huge difference. Ah, phenomenal. My next question to the both of you is, uh, you know, I really want to talk numbers with you, right? So what kind of data set do you already have of, let's say, Indian, uh, you know, microbiomes, um, especially, um, you know, in this country, of course. And also, you know, once somebody starts consuming the products that you are recommending them, what changes for them? Right, so uh, so we have been functioning on, on this line for the last two, three years, um, the pioneers in this domain. Sure. Um, so we have right now close to 1500 uh, Indian gut microbiome data uh, covering various diseases because wow. you know mostly people with certain disease would take this test. Sure. Right? Um, and the, the spectrum of disease that we are looking at um, starts from functional gastrointestinal diseases which includes IBD, IBS, constipation, those okay. are gastrointestinal diseases. Sure. Um, to your skin disorders and you know type 2 diabetes, chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, hypertension and even you know NFLD and so on and so forth. So the spectrum is quite wide because gut microbiota affects a lot of medical faculties or you know, your entire health uh, to, so to speak. Uh, so yeah, so and we uh, possess uh, India's uh, largest shotgun metagenomics data of uh, Indian gut. Wow. Uh, which basically means that we have data of all the microorganisms present in the gut of an individual. Okay. Um, so that's called shotgun metagenomics data. Okay. Uh, a lot of people used to, you know, sequence only bacteria. Sure. But we took a very strategic decision of sequencing all the microorganisms in the in the gut. Phenomenal. Which which uh, you know, for a normal person to sort of really understand, or for somebody like me to understand, really, is the fact that for the Indian gut, uh, since you've been able to map this entire data set, so now you can fundamentally predict or also find many more kinds of diseases that might be inside my body? So it's not fundamentally finding about diseases, it's about what is your current uh, state of the gut. Uh -huh. The more diverse the microorganisms in your body, the better your health would be. Got it. So uh, when people tend to have less diversity of, of microorganisms, that's when they suffer from a chronic disease. Very interesting. Uh, you know, my next question is, uh, what's your business model? How do you guys make money? So it's a it's a uh, B2B2C uh, business model. Okay. So. Um, it's usually referred by nutritionists, uh, doctors, okay. wellness coaches, um, and we have a small percentage of individuals directly coming on, on our website and, and booking tests. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, how did you fund this uh, business right on day one? And have you raised any external funding till date? When we started off, um, uh, well, we did a lot of consultancy services. People would send us a lot of microbiome data from, from your US, Europe. Okay. We'd analyze them, uh, give, give back the results, get feedback from them saying what we've done, whether it's right or wrong, iteratively improved our algorithms. Mm. Um, and that's how we self-funded the company uh, early on. Um, in 2017, uh, a couple of great individuals kind of uh, saw what we were doing and, and really loved uh, where we're taking this and, and uh, that's when we got our seed round. We're in the process of, of raising our uh, Series A right now. Phenomenal. Uh, many congratulations to you on that. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Uh, you know, millions of Indians are watching you right now on the Startup Champions Studio show. They want to be successful entrepreneurs like you, but probably they don't have the right direction. What's your message to all of them? Uh, I would say uh, if you if you believe in something, if you think you're solving something, just go go ahead and try 
and and put that into action. Wow. Uh, don't don't sit on a drawing paper for too long because uh, action speaks results. So you got all the lessons correct. Now is the time to understand the top two lessons of this session. Number one. India will be the most populated country in the world very, very soon. Studying and creating solutions for preventive healthcare are extremely critical. Number two, pre and probiotics have a massive consumer market in India. But for that to happen and for you to be successful in that, you will have to have a data set exactly like these guys. It's time for a very, very short break. Don't go anywhere. On the other side, you will meet the next startup champion. They are on a mission to get the Indian Ayurveda, the true recognition that it deserves. I will see you on the other side. Welcome back to Startup Champions 2.0. Ayurveda. When you hear this, you know it works because maybe you've heard it from someone. But there is no cool smartwatch or a health wearable that can show me data about my health or my body as per Ayurveda. Now, Ayurveda is one of the oldest forms of holistic medicine still widely used today. Is there any proof that observing fast on Ekadasi actually heals your body? And the Ritucharya or the Dincharya actually matter? Imagine if there was a way to solve the imbalance in the body and the mind through Nadi Pariksha. And that too digitally. Imagine if there was a predictive non-invasive health monitor based on Ayurveda and data science. Our startup champion has created justice. They use cutting edge technology to make Ayurveda speak and cure. Now imagine if Vata, Kapha and Pitta, the three doshas that define physiological, mental and emotional health of a human can be statistically understood and then with yoga and Ayurveda balanced out. This is exactly what our startup champion has made possible. Let's now see the Atreya innovation story. I've done my PhD from IIT Bombay in computer science department. Uh, the uh, topic of my thesis was uh, quantitative acquisition and analysis of the arterial pulse. On the same topic, now I have started uh, my startup called Atre Innovations. We confluence the uh, best of Ayurveda and uh, the data science um, and uh, we make sure that we help people to get healthier and happier. We started in 2015 uh, with one product called Nadi Tarangini, three pressure sensor based system to acquire the pulse from the wrist to digitize the Ayurvedic Nadi Pariksha system. It gives a 10 page report card for the doctors which can be given to the patients. So for the first time in Ayurveda, uh, we have a diagnostic system which has a report card, which has a comparison, which has statistics, data and so on. This is a very unique problem to solve where we are trying to merge uh, the ancient knowledge of Ayurveda with the modern uh, data science. I saw there are a lot of opportunities uh, in terms of technology development and once the technology is developed, uh, the kind of potential it has to touch uh, the lives of the common people, uh, not only in India but across the world. So Anirudh, welcome to Startup Champions 2.0. Thank you. Thanks, uh, you know, the first question that I have for you is, what exactly is this device? What does it do? Just tell all our audience today and open their eyes forever. Ayurved is our 5,000 years old science, sure. which, uh, in which uh, pulse-based diagnosis is one of the main diagnostic method. Okay. So in which the Ayurvedic doctor, the Vaidya, will feel the pulse on the wrist using three fingertips for Vata, Pitta and Kapha. So we have mimicked that methodology using three pressure sensors. So these are our digital fingertips and we capture the data using this. Uh, you can visualize this and our proprietary algorithms run on the server and gives you a 10 page report card. It talks wow. about the whole body. So it gives you information about your digestion, about your stress level, the uh, hydration levels inside and so on. And based on that, we give diet recommendations, uh, yoga recommendations to to balance your life and keep you healthier and happier. Let's make me more healthier. Let's see. Let's see what comes yeah, absolutely. out. Absolutely. So your report card has appeared now. Uh, you can see your graphs. You can see whether they are comparable to the normal graphs or not. Uh, it also gives you pulse rate, your rhythm, how good or bad your Samadha or Niramta is, 
uh, your bala agni which is your digestive fire your immunity level and so on it also gives 10 different nadi guna so basically it is capturing all the information uh, which is uh, uh, required for an ayurvedic doctor mm. to understand about you so using this report card now doctor can talk to you have a conversation with you and prescribe medicines for you and how accurate is this so uh, as part of my phd and as part of my postdoc we worked at 20 different hospitals collected more than 25000 data and uh, based on those validation processes uh, the this the whole system is more than 85% accurate wow so fundamentally you found the entire problem while working on your research uh, thesis yes so um, the story goes slightly back uh, my father who himself is padma bhushan uh, he was not well and uh, we took this ayurvedic treatment so as engineers we thought this more like a magic sure. but then while conversation with uh, vaidyaraj jashok bhat who treated my dad uh, we found out that uh, there is a huge need that this knowledge base has to reach out to the millions of people and uh, that's why we started working on this and uh, and uh, form the company interesting and and how many uh, patients have you diagnosed till date so we have about 500 centers across india and uh, we have helped in the diagnosis of more than 150000 patients so far interesting uh, how, you know how did you fund your business right on day one because i'm sure creating a hardware product like this wouldn't be easy and have you actually raised any external funding as of yet yeah so i come from the background of iit bombay so in the initial days i got some angel investment uh, in the year of 2016 and uh, we raised seed funding uh, in between Uh, hardware is one side but research is another important thing which is associated Absolutely. with us because we are trying to uh, come up with something uh, which has been there but it has to be deciphered and put uh, in uh, today's language in front of the world so that uh, the way yoga has reached to the world sure. ayurved will also sure uh, so what's your business model how do you make money uh, well we started with our selling to the doctors uh, at a fixed uh, one time cost okay. and now we are uh, um, we have also uh, tied up with couple of uh, big uh, corporate uh, offices in which uh, we are doing b2b to c uh, kind of work. oh very interesting okay uh, so look millions of indians are watching you right now and you've shown them something so very much more amazing right uh, they want to be entrepreneurs like you they also want to thrive and create new innovations uh, what's your message to all of them well uh, in my case I saw a real problem uh, while I was there. Sure. So I'm. I, I want to tell the young people that just keep looking around. India is uh, full of many problems, social and many more. So you will find one. So stick to it. Uh, have confidence in you, um, and you will solve the problem for India. Stick to it. Have confidence, and you will solve the problem for India. The top two lessons of the session are number one. Ayurveda is set for a massive revival. It is ready to command global stage in healthcare. Number two, with technology, you can better diagnose and define Ayurveda and yoga and their benefits to all of the human beings out there. The universe is made of vibrations. When you vibrate at a higher energy level, you will attract success. On that note, it's time for a short break. Up next will be questions from our audience and step number 14 of how to start a startup. I will see you on the other side. Welcome back to Startup Champions 2.0. It's time now for the audience's question. Our audience asked some very very intelligent questions, some really tough ones. Are you guys ready? Absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic. All right, great. So let's take our first question now. Come on screen and ask your question. Hello. Uh, my name is Afzal Shakil. My question is for Lucien Rich Bio. Do we need a special doctor's recommendation for your microbiome based product? you don't need any uh, recommendation before taking the product interesting and all the probiotics that you've actually created so we can fundamentally just buy them let's say from your website or off the shelf and just consume them yes let me build upon that question do uh, do i actually need a certain level of test to be done with you before we take your probiotics or we can just sort of take them off the shelf um if you do the test with us then uh, it the results become that more accurate and and personalized but you can also take the probiotic off the shelf and, and consume it Interesting, fantastic. Thank you so very much for that answer. Let's now take our second question. Please come on screen and ask your question. My name is Ashirana and I'm from Delhi. And my question is for Atri Innovations. That in the future can we see your data is being used by insurance companies to lower insurance cost? Oh, um, I'm I'm glad that um, 
uh, this question has come. In fact, we are working with one insurance company and a couple of uh, food companies also that uh, the data which has gathered on our platform will actually talk more about the personalized information about various people. So the way we get, uh, you know, the jokes on WhatsApp uh, messages, um, you know, we are going to define who you are, what you should eat, what you should not eat, uh, what yoga or uh, other things you should do, uh, what you should do to increase your immunity and lower the cost of your insurance. The way you know everything on your mobile, uh, on your apps, right. uh, about all your apps, uh, you should know everything about your body. So once you do that, the insurance company will help you decrease your cost. That's Let for sure. Let me build upon that question a little sure. more. So um, is all of this really, really possible with Ayurveda? Uh, Ayurveda and allopathy both. We are a tech company. We are not. Uh, we are not here just to say that only go for Ayurveda, but uh, go for integrative health. So all the pathies have their own merits and demerits. Sure. So we should work all together to make sure that ultimately the the world, India, Bharat becomes more healthier and happier. That's, uh, that's what we should do. Fantastic. On that note, learning leads to earning. You all know this. Let's now continue our journey of learning and earning with step number 14 of how to start a startup. The step is raise money if you have to. Remember that. Don't just raise money blindly. Raise money if you have to. Uh, tell me, you know, you have raised uh, a little bit of money. You've raised a little bit of money. So when you actually raised uh, the first round of funding, did you just blindly went through and, and raised money or did you have some traction, some validation of your product? When did it happen for the both of you? Um, we, we had a little bit of traction. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, validation that was coming through from the market. And we knew a very specific need for the money that we were raising. Got it. And, and only when we uh, discovered that, then did we go into the market to raise money. Very important. And uh, in my case, uh, we uh, we were going for the hardware uh, business, so uh, the money was required for. So my prototype was ready, but uh, getting it to the world class design, manufacturing, uh, make, making uh, it uh, in India required some capital. Sure. So that's why, uh, and also for the research part. So for co combining all this, uh, we went for the money, and I'm glad that uh, we went for it because being a techie, the other side from the investors was very helpful. I'm sure. Fantastic. So you learned that. Now everyone funds their uh, business with generally, you know, with capital from self, family and friends initially. Though, once you have traction and especially product market fit, you know, we have spoken about this earlier in one of our How to Start a Startup episodes, you should raise angel money. Number three, before you raise structured institutional capital, understand these important concepts that I'm lining up for you. Equity, debt, convertible debentures and safe notes. All of these are ways to raise money. All of these are ways to uh, use capital a lot more efficiently. If you understand them extremely well, you will just become a lot more successful and probably a lot more loved as an entrepreneur by investors. What did you learn from today's episode? Tell me more about it. Share your feedback with us, make your videos and post them with hashtag Startup Champions too. In the next episode, you will meet startup champions from the environment industry. Thank you for watching Startup Champions 2.0. Jai Hind. We take back dead lithium ion batteries from the market and we subject them to our own set of processes to produce this raw material. Already used battery, you will somehow break it all down and then create all of this. Absolutely. And then with this, you will actually create or recreate, give it new shape and life and create new batteries. So what I tried to do is I, I wanted to convert the waste into energy. So they also need nutrition like human beings, vitamins, minerals. Ah, okay. So these formulations also we have created so that we keep them, these metals healthy within those reactors also.